Hi everyone and welcome to this video on the gallbladder ultrasound protocol. In this video I'm going to go image by image and show you guys exactly how we take pictures of the gallbladder and exactly what we're looking for when we're scanning. So first we're going to look at some basic anatomy of the gallbladder. You can see it here in the inferior portion of the right lobe of the liver. You can see medial to it is going to be the duodenum and the pancreas head. Looking at the more specific parts of the gallbladder itself, we can see the neck, body, and fundus of the gallbladder. You can also see the cystic duct coming off the neck of the gallbladder and joining with the common hepatic duct. And then you can see those join together to form the common bile duct. The first thing that we do in any scan before taking even your first picture is to survey whatever we're looking at, meaning that you find the organ, so we find the gallbladder, and we sweep all the way out left, all the way out right, we turn in transverse, we look superior to inferior, and the reason we do that is we're looking for any major pathology that we want to make sure that we go back and take pictures of. We're looking for any stones, any sludge, um, anything like that even things that aren't pathologic but are just um, like abnormalities or things that are a little bit unusual. Some people have really interestingly shaped gallbladders. I'm one of those people. I have what's called a pharyngean cap. This is what that looks like. So that's where we do our survey just to give ourselves an idea of exactly what this scan is gonna look like. And from there we can start imaging. So here's our first image of the gallbladder. We're looking in the long plane with the patient supine, so flat on their back, and we have the ultrasound probe vertical on the patient. So the left side of the screen is gonna to be towards the patient's head, and the right side of the screen is gonna to be towards the patient's feet. The top of the screen is gonna to be towards the patient's front side, and the bottom of the screen is gonna to be towards the patient's back. So that's the orientation here. So the gallbladder is going to be that little black oval in the middle of the screen there. And we try to get three pictures of it in different views. From those three different views, we choose the largest portion of the gallbladder to measure. Now here's some critique from my professors over those first three pictures. So the first thing you can see here is that I have my output power set at 100%. Um, our program is really big on ALARA, which stands for as low as reasonably achievable, and that's a physics concept. It basically means that we want to keep the output power as low as possible so that we don't have any potential bio effects to the patient. And we can use other things to change the image quality, like the gain. We can turn the gain up to make the image brighter without using as much power. So usually we try to keep it around 80 or 90. And in this case, I just forgot to change it. This next piece here, you can see that my professor wrote, these images are similar, alter your approach. Um, don't just sweep or change the view of the gallbladder neck. So um, the three images you can see here that I took, they are very similar. Um, there's just a little bit of a difference in the neck area, but I really needed to move my transducer to a whole nother place in the patient's body and kind of take completely different angles. So after those long images, then we move on to transverse. So now we have turned the probe on its side and it is horizontal on the patient. Now the right side of the screen is the patient's left. The left side of the screen is the patient's right. Um, the top and the bottom are still the same. So the top is the front side of the patient and the bottom is the back side of the patient. And again, the black circle here, now we're cutting it a different way. So it's a little circle instead of an oval. That's gonna be your gallbladder. So moving the probe superior on the patient, we're gonna see the gallbladder neck and it's gonna be more posterior. As we move our probe a little bit more inferior on the patient, we're gonna see the gallbladder body, which is gonna start moving more anterior. And then as we move the probe even more inferiorly on the patient, 
you're going to reach the gallbladder fundus, which is the most anterior portion of the gallbladder. And at the gallbladder fundus, we're going to take a measurement of the wall. You do have to be careful here not to measure the liver capsule and only to measure the gallbladder wall. Next thing we image is the CHD, or the common hepatic duct, and the CBD, the common bile duct. These are really hard. I still struggle getting these pictures on certain patients just because these are the tiniest little parts of your body and we do have to be able to see them clearly on the ultrasound. So starting at the CHD, which is going to be more intrahepatic, um, we look at the main portal vein and we try to elongate it and just anterior to that is going to be the CHD with its bright echogenic walls and we go ahead and take a measurement of the CHD. The CBD is a continuation of the CHD outside of the liver and we try to extend it all the way from the liver hilum to the pancreas head which I was able to do on this patient. We go ahead and take a measurement at the hilum and at the pancreas head, and then we have to use our color to prove that we're looking at the CBD. The flow of bile through the CBD is too slow for color to pick up, but the color should be able to pick up flow in the surrounding vessels um, that are supposed to have flow fast enough for the color to pick up. And that's how we can distinguish if we're definitely looking at the CBD or if maybe we accidentally caught a piece of the hepatic artery. So you can see my instructor's note here saying that there does need to be more color in the portal vein there to prove that the CBD actually is the CBD. So those are all of our pictures with the patient supine, which means on their back. The next thing that we do is we have the patient roll into what we call LLD, which stands for left lateral decubitus, and the patient just turns over on their side. So now we go ahead and repeat the same protocol with the patient turned. The reason that we do this is because your gallbladder isn't completely in a fixed position, so when you roll onto your side, the gallbladder actually kind of flops over as well and any debris or stones that may have settled down into a place that you weren't able to see them in the supine, now you can actually watch that sludge move or you can watch the stones roll. That's a way for you to distinguish between stones and polyps. A polyp is gonna be actually attached to the internal gallbladder wall and it's not gonna move when the patient rolls, whereas a stone is gonna actually roll to be gravity dependent. Another thing you can see in this image is the little fold by the gallbladder neck. Sometimes these can fool you and make you think that they're polyps, but if you just put some color on it, a polyp will have a little feeding artery and a fold won't have any color. You can also just kind of look from different angles and try to elongate the fold and show that it connects to both ends of the gallbladder wall. So we repeat these same three long images um, in a little bit different planes and you can see that in these three images they actually are more different than when I was doing it in supine so my instructor didn't comment on that. And then we move into transverse again and we take those same three pictures of the gallbladder neck, the body, and the fundus. Um, we don't have to repeat the measurement of the gallbladder wall again, but we do look at the CBD again. We also don't take another CHD picture, but looking at the CBD, sometimes it can extend a lot better when you have the patient roll on their side. Other times it doesn't make um, much of a difference. With this patient, it doesn't make a huge difference, but you're still able to see it from the liver hilum to the pancreas head here. We take another measurement. And we always use whatever the largest CPD measurement is on our report. And then we do another color picture once again to prove that we are actually looking at the CBD. And you can tell in this image, as opposed to the supine image, how much more color there is, especially in the portal vein. So we're definitely proving that that is the CBD in this image. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this helped you out, that you learned a little something about the gallbladder. It's a really fun little scan. The gallbladder is super cute. Next, we're gonna be looking at the aorta. So stay tuned for my next video and we'll talk about the aorta. Thank you guys, bye.